Hello friends. Welcome back to All on Law. Guys, this is a medical video lecture microbiology. Okay, microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is actinomyces israeli. And this is an important topic for USMLE step 1 examination. So guys, before starting a discussion on this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do not forget to share our videos with your friends. Actinomyces israeli. Remember the important points. First, for the actinomyces, what you should remember. They are the gram positive or negative. They are gram positive. Remember, they are positive. Okay, they are positive. Actinomyces are gram positive rods. Okay. And they are anaerobes. They don't require oxygen for their growth. Anaerobes and they are non acid fast. Okay. Whenever we say our actinomyces is really, what are the points you should recall? What are the points you should remember is sulfur granules. Remember about the sulfur granules. That's really very important. Catching point. It's nothing but hard yellow micro colonies. Okay. Right. Yes. Excellent. So these are the important points that you should remember about what you call um, uh, actinomyces is really. So actinomyces is really is a gram positive rod anaerobic and non acid fast bacteria. Okay. What is a reservoir? Reservoir is a human, okay, normal what you call flora of gingival cervices and female genital tract. Gingival cervices and female genital tract. Okay. And what about the transmission? How they are transmitted? They are transmitted to the endogenous, remember. Okay. Right. Okay, what about the pathogenesis? What about the pathogenesis? The pathogenesis is the invasive growth in the tissue with immuno, what you call comprised oxygen supply. So compromised oxygen supply. So invasive growth in tissues with comp compromised oxygen supply. Okay. Diseases. What the diseases it cause? Could it cause? Okay. It causes what you call abscess. Abscesses or abscess. Sinus tract. The sulfur granules, that's really very important. In actually that can be that can be used for microscopy or culture. Okay. Right? Then you, there you can see that bacteria. So it causes ultimately tissue swelling. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if it's you now what you call jaw as it presents in the gingival cervices, so it can cause what you call the lumpy jaw, a cervical facial infection. Okay. Lumpy jaw. And it can sp spread to the thorax or lungs can cause aspiration with aspiration pneumonia or aspiration. Okay, CNS it can cause what you call brain abscess. Okay, so these are the important points about actinomyces israeli. Okay, how would you find how would you diagnose this the sulfur granules from the past? That's it. Okay. So try to memorize this. And what is the treatment plan for this? Treatment, the antibiotics, the ampicillin or penicillin G. And ultimately you have to go undergo what you call surgical drainage. Okay guys. So I think this information is enough for your assembly step on examination. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please, please subscribe and thumb up the video. Thank you so much. Take care.